Alright guys, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and finally it's time to do the version update notice uh, video for version 1.5 so we're going to be discussing uh, about this and also my thoughts on it so this is the new Beneath the Light of Jedi uh, update notice so I think I did this kind of video last time uh, pretty similar in version 1.2 so I'm going to do the same thing here for 1.5 right so as you know guys the update is coming soon so please be prepared to download the files we can preload them on PC and mobile so you can uh, try that I think maybe tomorrow or Tuesday it depends when they roll it out so let us uh, take a look at the notice alright so I'm not gonna read this let's read this one so update schedule so update maintenance begins on 28th of April which is uh, Wednesday so 6 p.m. local time for me and 6 a.m. sorry and it's estimated to take about 5 hours so it should be done around 11 if everything goes smoothly and if there's a delay then yeah we'll get more people gems which everyone wants so yeah anyway let's move on so this is what I think you guys should know uh, compensation so as usual every time there's a maintenance uh, there will be a Primo Gems compensation up to 300 uh, totally depends on how fast they've completed the maintenance if it's done faster then yeah sure it will Primo Gems but if it's longer then we might get more so we'll see so far uh, for my experience it's always 300 Primo Gems I didn't really see much uh, more than this amount However, I believe we are still missing one section which is the bug fixes and uh, yeah, bug fixes and optimizations of the game. I think they also should give us another 300. So by right, we should be getting 600. So we'll see on that day. And this one, you guys should know. It will generate to rank 5 or above. Then you can uh, get the rewards. Alright, let's come to the details. So this is the one of the main... Uh, main updates or new features in the game so we have the new housing system also known as the serenity pod so we can read all this take a look at what they gotta say so adapter use serenity pods as a media through which they can channel their adapter power and create realms in a bodies or this is called maybe the uh, house as the owner of this realm you may decorate if you may wish and turn it into a home away from home so this is totally a different dimension you can say it's a different realms totally different from the current world we are in now in the game and after using and summoning the Serenity Pot you may interact it with uh, enter the abode within it's pretty cool so these are all the things you can uh, take a look at in the game later Teapot Spirit, Trust Rank, Adapter Energy Creating and Realm Depot so you can read all this uh, yourself I, will, I won't go through this uh, I'll put the link in the description to this article so you guys can read all this information alright let's move on to this most one of the exciting parts of the uh, patch which is new characters are coming so we have Eula 5 star uh, character Cryo uh, it's a Claymore and looks from the trailer looks like she's uh, pretty considered a pretty fast Claymore user as from what I see in the trailer not bad but we have to see in in-game in action so we'll see about that if it's very very fast attack speed then con consider this a very good uh, claymore character as i uh, noticed that most of the claymore users are pretty slow in attack speed but well, let's see about this one uh so this one um, i think this will be after zongli's banner so we'll see this one later so another one is a four star character so this one is the uh, yanfei uh, also a pyro 4 star catalyst pretty similar to uh, Kli you can say or Ningguang uh, in terms of the attack style but uh, from what I see in the trailers it's mostly like a Ningguang uh, pyro so yeah we'll see so a well known legal advisor active in Liyue Harbor of Brilliant Lang Lady in Moon Wayne's runs the blood of an eliminated beast so if you watch the live stream or the trailer, you notice that Yanfei has sort of a horns on her side of her face. So there are two horns, something like Ganyu with the uh, uh, horns on her head as well. So yeah, kind of similar there. And yeah, so we're getting her on Zhongli's banner, which I assume is going to come out on 28th of, uh, of uh, April, which is the, the start date of the event, uh, the update. So we'll get to see her in Zhongli's banner. Alright, so new equipment. Uh, I'm not very interested in the new weapon because 
as you know weapon banners are, I'm not a fan of weapon banners in general but we have a new weapon for you lah so it's a 5 star claymore a song of broken pines so this is set to be a physical bonus uh, physical damage bonus uh, claymore on the main stat uh, not really sure what's the passive on this weapon but we'll find out when it comes out and this one I'm very interested in this one we have a new artifact so we have the tenacity of the millinif millinif so 4 star and 5 star versions, we have Pale Flame as well, 4 star and 5 star versions. So we have a new domain definitely, so you can obtain this in the Witch Watch domain. Uh, the new domain of Blessing at Bishui Plain. So it's in, looks like it will be in Miwe Harbor near the Stone Gate. Uh, yep. And this one is uh, mostly focused on the HP percentage from what I see. And this one is focused on the physical, percent physical damage percentage which can really benefit like someone like Eula, Razor or any physical damage dealing characters you are having now and also this one will benefit Zhongli from what I see so it's definitely designed for Zhongli based on what the description says it increases HP percentage and also uh, buffs the shield so definitely it's more towards Zhongli from what I see for this one, you can probably plug put it in Razor or even for Kaching physical build, it's pretty good. We have to test it out by the way. And could be in Eula as well, so it'll be fun to test this out as well. So, yep, we'll be farming this domain definitely. Check it out. And new domain, so we have the new Rich Watch, as I said earlier, with this new artifact set, we definitely got a new domain, so pretty nice. And new Trounce domain it says here beneath the Dragon Quiller. So I believe this was the Geo Dragon Lord, you can call it in the trailer we saw earlier. Uh, it looks pretty uh, big and crazy, and uh, we're not really sure how deadly it is, but we have to find out when we play it. So the new Trounce domain beneath the Dragon Quiller has been added to the Nantianmen area. So I think it's quite near the uh, the uh, previous Geo Bishop. Uh, domain as one Joby Chef domain there, weekly boss for the uh, Juvenite Jade material. So it's, I think it's gonna be pretty near there. We'll see. Anyway, so moving on to the story quest, it seems so unlocked after completing. Oh, I, I see this will be unlocked after completing the Zhongli story quest. So it looks like you have to complete this quest in order to unlock uh, the uh, domains to get the artifacts. So it looks like they want us to play the story first. Uh, in order to progress uh, to get the uh, artifacts and there's also a red note here it seems so after only version 0.5 there will be three opportunities to half the origin racing course when reclaiming rewards from trials blossoms in trials domains and the lupus boreas domain of wolf challenge so this one looks like they are warning us uh, not to use our resin on, on monday when the server refreshes to uh, farm the world, uh, world weekly bosses because uh, if after the update it's gonna start reducing that in half so I suggest you guys uh, to don't farm the weekly bosses first until the update has been applied and after you've done the Zhongli quest then you can go and farm your uh, weekly bosses from then on uh, so yeah that's what they're trying to say which is nice so pretty good so they're making sure we're updating to the version 1.5 first so that uh, we won't miss out on the rewards of the uh, origin resin course uh, which is very good all right moving on to the new monster so we got a new cryo hypostasis added in dragon spine so they will be adding another uh, a way to get uh, i think some materials character materials for could be eula or for yanfi i'm not sure but uh, it seems you have a new one so elemental creatures who protect themselves from current attacks with their dual bird shell will be interesting to try it out and fight it so we have another boss here so i think this one is the geo lord which is uh i think it's this one so the atsasa azada i'm not sure i pronounced that an enormous dragon as ancient as the mountains themselves so we're gonna fight this it seems which is cool i can't imagine that and Lastly, we have the lead monster, the Abyss Lector, also known as the uh, Wider, Abyss Lector Wider Lightning. So this one we saw in the live stream, they also showcased the uh, the new Abyss boss that we can fight in the Spiral Abyss, I believe. In one of the levels, probably maybe level 12, uh, maybe replacing 12.1 or 12.3, I'm not sure, we'll see <coughs> uh, about that. 
Okay, moving on to the new events. So this one is so pretty excited. So energy amplified in initiation take part and exchange for the Diona. So they're giving away one copy of Diona for this event. Don't miss this out. If you don't have a Diona still, then this is a chance to get a copy. Or you're probably having a Diana C5, uh, you want to get a C6, then yeah, might as well drop in and play this event. They've given us quite a lot of time, so no worries, we have plenty of time to complete this. And yeah, so we, we are going to be helping Hoseini, it seems, to gather Immunsu fruit fragments and unleash their power with the energy amplifier. And yeah, so pretty nice, we got an uh, event start two days after 1.5 goes live, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but anyway, you got two days to maybe play around with the house system, so I think it's fine. And we also have the uh, yeah places of interest during the event period. Go into interest, defeat opponents to gather the fruits and obtain the fractured fruit data. It seems so. Yeah, so we get to visit uh, places here and there. Looks like and domains during this period, some very challenge domains to obtain fractured fruit data. So I'm not sure about this. Maybe if we play. If you, if you join the artifact domain or the talent books domain, maybe we can get a uh, fractured food data. I'm not sure about this one, or this is a separate domain, so I think it could be a separate one. I could be wrong, we'll see. And lastly, we have the twisted realm. So, during the events period, a uh, chance to twist the realm to get high scores, you can reach a combined score of certain amounts to claim fractured fruit data. And yep, that's about it. And it says here, even more events will be subsequently become available, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so moving on to the new quest. So we got a new story quest for Zhongli and Yula. So Zhongli quest I think will be first, definitely. Okay, they already said here it's first and this one will say it says a later date. So this clearly gives us an idea that the Zhongli banner is obviously confirmed coming first, then followed by Yula. So Zhongli is coming first and then Yula story quest next. Alright, number two, we have the new Hangouts event. So, if you've seen the live stream, we got Diona and Noel. So, Diona first time will be in this uh, Hangouts event, and Noel will be second time already, which is cool. I really love this Hangouts event, it was pretty interesting and different a bit compared to the normal gameplay we have in the game. <laughs> so, it gives us an opportunity to get to know more about our characters, which is pretty cool. And let me see, uh, okay, so new World Quest. So we have a new world quest for the housing system and looks like we have a couple of quests uh, criteria looks like so we need to be ranked 35 to unlock the quest and we have to complete the Archon quest Act 3 to uh, participate in these two new world quests and also we have a new world quest Timeless Classic and where the trail goes cold so I'm not sure what is this probably some more world quests related to the housing system uh, they say here other new world quests will be added at a later date, including Mr. Melancholy and Mimitomo. I think this is an event world quest, possibly. Looks related to events. Uh, maybe this one is an event uh, world quest, I'm not sure, but we'll see on the on the day when the event goes live. So, yep, pretty much a uh, few world quests added. So, we're gonna get at least a couple of Primo Gems, maybe 60 times 2, maybe 120. So, at least some Primo Gems there, pretty cool. Okay, so moving on to other additions to the gameplay seems so we got a new gadget definitely to access the house system We have a new recipes. Uh, I'm not sure what's all this probably new recipe because of uh, Eula maybe Because you like uh, this new character coming probably they need to add recipes for Eula. I'm not sure about that uh, Yeah, so they are one uh, two three four five new recipes. Yep five so we got a new inventory category furnishing so probably have a new tab on the top of our screen we can access to see all our furnitures which is pretty cool and new precious items i'm not sure why is this probably related to the housing system as well so we got dream solvent transcend racing whale of adapter speed sanctifying new uh, unction and sanctifying essence so I believe all these items you can get it from the uh, Serenity port from the vendor or the uh, Realm Depot So we can buy stuff from there And I believe this uh, transient resin is something like a fragile resin But it expires so you need to use it uh, quickly before it expires 
and you have the well of the adapter speed so this one looks like probably to help speed up the crafting process of the furnishings and these two uh, is uh, artifacts experience but I'm not sure what's the difference between these two probably this one gives more EXP or this one gives lesser we'll find out on the days uh, as well new achievements as well so we've got a new achievement series the realm beyond probably related to the new housing system we have the memories of the heart I'm not sure what's this probably also related to the housing system or maybe something else so we'll see uh, new name cards, so celebration, uh, fruit of uh, wisdom, probably regarding the event. This one I think is related to events as well. This one is from Yanfei from Maxi Alter to Friendship Level 10, also Yula Friendship Level 10. And this one I think could be the Battle Pass, I'm not sure. Maybe Battle Pass has a new name card and also the Achievement Tea Time. Alright, so that's done. Let's move on to the Spiral Beast. So this one is pretty interesting. I had read through already, but from the looks of it, it's basically buffing physical damage uh, dealers. So uh, changes to floor 11. Looks like we got a different ley line now. So the characters will be periodically inflicted with slowing water, greatly increasing your skill CD or cooldown duration until the inflicted hydro element is removed. So this is uh, reminds us of one of the domains which has this ley line. So it's going to be implemented in the Spiral Beast. And we have the physical damage bonus 75%. So now is a chance to shine if you have a razor physical build or kaching or probably uh, other characters that you focus on physical damage. Then this is the time to shine, man. And we have updates on the monster on the monster lineup. So it looks like it changes to floor 11 and changes to floor 12. I'm assuming they're gonna add the abyss uh, herald uh, mage into this. Uh, this uh, spiral beast but we don't know what floor is, is it going to be added oh sorry the uh is it the miss hero no it's not the miss hero <laughs> uh what's it called ah oh, sorry it's the abyss like the yeah the lightning one okay okay so yeah starting from the first time the lunar phase refreshes means on version 1.5 we're gonna get a new spiral beast as usual so we will be refreshed and you can go and get all your rewards by uh, clearing all the spiral beasts so we got uh, three phases as usual. So phase one looks like a uh, blade dance moon. So looks like when a character stores consecutive hits on an opponent with normal attacks within two seconds, these characters' physical damage is increased by five seconds for ten sec five percent for ten seconds, and stack up to five times. And only one stack is added at a time, regardless of how many enemies are hit in one strike. When five stacks are obtained, further hits on opponents will only shock waves that deal AOE damage. A short wave that can be created in this manner every once. Wow! So if you, wow, if you if we stack up to five times, man, physical damage dealer is gonna be very powerful. For five percent times five, we up to twenty five percent, which is crazy. This is gonna be crazy for uh, physical builds. So if you are farming the physical artifacts, the the, the new one, uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty pretty crazy. <laughs> Uh, phase 2, Tawny Moon, Backlash will occur when an opponent hit the character put on a shield, unleashing a shockwave that deals AOE damage, can occur once every 6 seconds of Backlash. Okay, so uh, you've got a shield, so if, uh, if, if, if you get hit by something, then you'll do an AOE damage, looks like, shockwave. So yeah, this is kind of buffing Zhongli, you can say that. Buffing Zhongli, probably Diona as well, so pretty nice. Uh, phase 3, um, Rebellious Moon, okay, so when the character scores normal charge of planetary attack, hits and deals physical damage to opponents, uh, these characters crit rates increase by 3 seconds for 10, 3% for 10 seconds, so this effect can stack up to 5 times, so looks like you can get up to 15% crit rate just by doing some normal and charge attacks to opponents, just, then you can just charge out your crit rate and then you get uh, a good amount of crit rate for about 10 seconds, which is nice. And only one stack is added at time regardless of how many enemies of hit was. Okay, it's pretty much the same as this one. When five stacks may obtain, crit may on opponents will only shock waves that deal AOE damage. So it's pretty much the same as this one, it's just that it's giving a crit rate buff this time. It's kind of similar. Alright, so lastly, uh, not lastly, next one is uh, system. So this one is very minor changes, but it's kind of nice to have if you like it. We have new mail pins function has been added. 
so you can pin a certain mail or style on top of your screen and uh, yeah so it will not be deleted when pressing delete uh, delete the, the delete button so uh, however pin mail will still expire as normal so it will still disappear but at least you won't delete and read a mail by accident which is good and on mobile UI border offset setting has been added to uh, settings control so if uh, looks like mobile users can adjust the border lines of the the game or something so check it out Alright, audio, so adds voice interactions for characters in the open world, pretty nice. Adds a compatibility mode option for the audio API on Android devices. Try switching this to mode, this mode if you experience any of flowing issues, distorted sound, electrical noise, uh, when uh, from the device failure to switch between left and right, audio channels switching, screen recording to capture audio, screen recording feature distorted. Audio difficulty switching to end from earphones when plugged in or removed. Electrical noise through Bluetooth earphones. So looks like we got an option to have a downgrade to a compatibility mode it seems. On certain uh, audio devices, maybe it's an old one and this could overcome the issues. Uh, as Japanese voiceover for certain characters, pretty good. Due to unforeseen circumstances in English, the voice of the Diona in Diona Saga event is temporarily provided by Jackie Lestra. So, probably the original voice act, uh, voice uh, over for English could, not, could be not available or is not uh, able to do it. Probably due to various reasons, maybe not feeling good or not well. So, yep, we got a different person doing the Diona hangout event, looks like. So, if you really care about that, then. Yeah, this is the answer. This is why uh, I'm getting a different voice. Alright, optimization. So I think this is the last part, almost the end. So system, so this one we pretty much discussed earlier. We're getting a reduction in the original resin by half. So we can do up to three times and after that it will be the full original resin cost. And okay, in cool mode, there are two or, when there are two or less characters in the team that can be controlled per player, the companionship XP uh, obtain is doubled so if you are looking to increase your friendship experience faster with a single character then it's way better to play your friends or with other people to get that experience going up so nice so new voiceover mentioned files at the PC you can install voiceover files so they showcase this us on your live stream uh, this is mainly a concern for mobile users because their storage is limited so we, at least now we can delete it in the next versions, you can uninstall them. Uh, like you say, don't want English, you don't want Japanese, or you don't want Korean. You can uninstall. I mean, you at least have to have one voiceover in the game, at least one. So make sure to uninstall the others if you only plan on using one to save some space. Okay, some optimizations to control. Uh, uh for to controlling using the controller looks like. So many optimizations, if you're on console, at least they're gonna do a lot of changes uh, over here. And there is something here I see uh, on the report screen, the default button for text editing has been made consistent with the controls of the other game interface. For PS users, uh, this has been changed from the circle button to the square button. And for Xbox controllers, this has been changed from the B button to the X button. So take note of this. Alright, so some changes to the animations, you can skip that past animation, which animation, oh, oh, we can skip which animation, okay, I mean the controls to skip it, I don't know, I mean that's the same thing, right, uh, I mean I think this is just for consoles, uh, animation for clever rewards has been changed for controllers, yeah, 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 controllers, so many console users, hold the circle B button to skip, the confirmation pop-up window has been removed, alright. So I'm not going to read all these because all these are related to PS4. Let's move on to mobile. So these uh, adjustments, okay, so they did improve significantly for mobile users, uh, those especially having issues with aiming. So there is a new camera sensitive mode, aim shot mode. And I mean, they've added more adjustment levels. So we have, uh, have a new one up to eight now. So pretty nice. Uh, mobile we have an acceleration slider looks like also assist for aiming setting has been added with this setting enable the camera speed will change dynamically with the speed of your finger sliding faster cause the camera angle to rotate more pretty nice so hopefully this solves all the issues uh, 
with you guys using mo mobile or uh, playing on mobile with like can you or amber or something like that so at least it's solved hopefully uh oh what's this okay the amount of condensed medicine has been added above the button to claim rewards for domain and daylight blossoms if you have no condensed medicine it will not be displayed optimizes the anti aliasing effect on the avatar of one's profile some graphics optimization looks like and lastly optimize the animation performance of song list plunging attack pretty nice okay cool Ooh, we're almost at the end guys so optimizations the uh, animation performance of nearby monsters and objects in cool mode when the missing player is far from the host player okay and other so now we got uh, let's take a look at this one so this is related to battle pass so okay adjust some of the missions in battle pass uh, with the missions uh, in, red, in red here it says the total better exp that can be earned remains unchanged by this adjustment which is sad i hope we can earn more but oh well it is what it is <laughs> so we have a couple of uh, deleted better pass missions it seems so looks like no more farming the uh, specialties anymore which was a pain actually for some of you guys for me as well was a pain but at least they got rid of that um, this one as well has gone pretty interesting, so we, uh, I think they make it into one now. So new missions looks like we got uh, just one complete trials domains, or complete the domain tour of wolf challenge three times. So looks like we have to fight the uh, wolf three times, or we can just uh, complete a trials domain, which is the uh, child and the uh, what's it called, Davalin. So. Yeah, lesser now in terms of rewards, but they gave us uh, four new missions, so it's not that bad. But we just don't know how much uh, EXP they gave us at the moment. So obtain a total of 1,000 realm currency. So I'm not sure this is easy to obtain a week, but from the looks of this uh, mission, looks like uh, it should be easy to obtain because it, uh, it's in a weekly mission. So it should be easy to obtain within a week. And create a total 10 finishings. I think this also is pretty doable. We have to see on the day uh, it, uh, it, uh, the version goes live and purchase two items from teapot traveling salesman in another player's civility port okay so looks like they are asking you to go to another person's world uh, just to get uh, this mission done so pretty interesting move there if you only play alone and you don't have friends uh, i guess it's time to make friends <laughs> to visit another player in their housing system pretty cool so that's all basically and this one is related to this Stella reunion event uh, I will just go through pretty quickly as because this event is only uh, limited to those who didn't play the game for more than uh, 15 days uh, 14 days, I'm not sure, 14 or 15 days uh, you're away from the game and this event comes on so once you knock back into the game uh, you'll notice that they have deleted a few quests I think uh, force 3 items and if you boss enemy one time so they've added another uh, three different quests so we have to level our character once with exp we have to enhance our weapon once and we have to enhance an artifact once so i'm not sure this is even difficult or easy but i think it's pretty easy you can get all of it no problems and now um, c for origin racing constant quest decreases the quantity of origin that travelers at uh rank 10 to 50 are required to consume no change has been made to the total points that can be obtained in one day applies to travelers who activate the standard event after open update okay so if you guys haven't played Genshin impact for maybe a, a close to more than half a month 15 days let's say and you plan to play it on version 1.5 yeah you should log in after the update goes live don't log in before that because uh if you log in before that then um the event i don't think this will apply to the event so yeah let's take note on that and for other details of bug fixes please see the version of the details notice to be posted on at 28 7 a.m hmm that's pretty late actually but anyway they're gonna post another version of the details in the future so guys what do you think of this new version 1.5 update notice pretty huge patch to be honest guys a lot of new things to cover uh, in this video so i think this video is pretty long already so almost 30 minutes so we're gonna end it here and yeah that's all for this video just discussing uh this version 1.5 update notice and uh, one of my thoughts 
and my impressions of this update based on what we see I think it's gonna be very interesting and at least we have something to do uh, than last previous version 1.3 1.4 which was pretty much a uh, content filler so finally we're getting something new and also pretty happy that we got the housing system which is really a game changer for me in the game finally and yeah so that's all for this video guys hopefully you guys uh, got an idea now so i'll put this article in the link description below so you guys can read it for yourself and uh, until now i did not get any information on the character uh, banners that is coming out so i think probably we'll see those character banners in the next couple of days before the version goes live definitely so be covering on that banners as well whether you should pull for zongli or not in another video so stay tuned for that and that's all for me guys so thank you much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out